honestly, to me, everything's a wow. I love celebrating the culture because I feel like it doesn't get the recognition that it's supposed to be getting. I feel like people see the car but not understand what it means and the history behind it and the cultural expressions and how they had to fight to even be able to drive down the street. It was part of my heritage and I hope everybody celebrates it to this day. So we're here on the fifth floor of the Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Library, which is our cultural heritage study center. And the exhibit itself is Forever Cruising, Cultura de Lowriders, and it's celebrating the arts and culture that's part of the lowrider culture. Show it, celebrate it, and it hopefully will keep thriving in San Jose. Since the 1970s, San Jose has always been big as Cruising Central, and it has been a forefront through the council and their work with the community. Here in San Jose, we were one of the first to bring down the no cruising signs, to remove that band, to work with the community and highlight the culture inside the library through local artistry, local business owners. So some things that are on display, we have some different publications out, we have awards, we have photos, we have attire. <laughs> You'll see some old articles, and then we even have some of these model cars. This goes back to the 70s. This is a Teen Angel. This is some of his artwork that he did. But this shows community. You see kids. You see them around the cars. There'll be some cars in front of the library where you could really see the craftsmanship and the artwork that goes into the lowrider, the etching, the detailed work that goes into some of these. So to me, every part of it's important because this is people's lives and work that have gone into this piece of art. I just love seeing it on display in any which way we can do it. For me personally, it's a passion of mine to understanding the family heritage that goes into the culture itself. It's not the stereotypical themes that people have in mind or what they were told that was portrayed in the media at some point in time. I want to see the lowrider culture archived, put into our local archives, put in it into an information institution of some sort, its legacies, put your artistic spin on the car, put your family heritage on this car and display it and share it and show it and be proud of that and come together in camaraderie from that community.